Hello, my name is Vladimir Rogovsky. I'm a senior researcher and the author of the article about urolithin A perspectives in cancer. Once upon a time, people have noticed that consumption of some plant foods, like pomegranates, leads to favorable effects. But the problem is that not everyone experiences such effects. What is the reason? Well, probably scientists have discovered that. The reason is gut microbiota the microorganisms in our gut. Well, such food as pomegranates, nuts and tea are rich in elegitanins. Elegitanins have many favorable effects, however, due to low bioavailability, they don't readily penetrate the blood from the gut. Microbiota metabolize them to substances with more pronounced bioavailability. Among them, probably, urolithin A is the most important. But not everybody has such microbiota to produce urolithins. That's why people consuming the same, same healthy food, like pomegranates, in fact consume a different amount of urolithins. However, it is possible to consume urolithin A orally. So, what is important to know about the perspectives of urolithin A in cancer treatment? Firstly, cancer is linked to chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation leads to immune separation and immune tolerance, which prevents cancer antigens elimination and urolithin A can reduce this chronic inflammation. The results obtained in vivo and in vitro support in this. Secondly, urolithin A has direct anti-cancer effects. However, they require concentrations which are not feasible in humans even for urolithin A. But in the case of long-term treatment, the urolithin A, it might be possible to influence the cancer physiology that will lead to the modification of cancer disease. Urolithin A might be disease-modifying therapy in cancer. What are the molecular mechanisms of urolithin A in cancer? Probably the most important is the antagonism of real hydrocarbon receptors or AHR receptors. Cancer cells produce factors like kinurinins, which stimulate these receptors leading to the production of various inflammatory factors like interleukin-6, which in the case of long-term exposure has an immunosuppressive effect antagonism of HR can limit chronic inflammation in cancer. Besides the IHR antagonism, other important mechanisms of urolithin A are the modulation of protein phosphorylation and P53 stabilization, which are responsible for direct anti-cancer action. The urolithin A is a relatively new discovered compound. It was shown to be safe and well tolerated. The anti-cancer properties of urolithin A were demonstrated in different in vivo models. But there is still no data from clinical trials of urolithin A in cancer. However, such trials should be carried out, and they should be sufficiently long-lasting to provide the exploration of the disease modification effect of urolithin A in cancer. Thank you.